Welcome to Stratego. The main point of the game is to capture the other person's flag. The basic idea of Stratego, besides capturing the other person's flag, is that the higher the number, the more powerful the game piece is. Let's take some time to introduce our game pieces. You can use scouts to blow up mines. Miners can disable bombs. They're also the next ranking above scouts. Sergeants are the next level above miners. Lieutenants are the next rank above sergeants. Next in line from the lieutenant is the captain. Majors, number four, are the ones above captains. Colonels, number three, are the next rank above majors. The general, number two, is the rank above colonel. <laughs> the marshal, or number one, is the best player in the game, therefore beating every player mentioned so far. Spies can kill anybody in the game. <laughs> the spy, unfortunately, can be killed by anybody. Go, 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 go. Welcome back. As you can see, we've set up the board. Now, this team chose a very good strategy because they have their flag behind a lake so a scout can't get to it and it is surrounded by a few bombs they also have their spy around the, right behind the lake and they're leading by twos and they are not leading by a ten or have anything trapped by bombs and they do not favor one side or the other all sides are equally strong now let's take a look at the other side This person chose a very poor strategy. As you can see, they have their one of their best characters trapped by bombs, and they have their flag in a corner, not behind a lake, and guarded by all of their bombs. They're also leading with the ten, have scouts and miners trapped behind the lake, and have a power side. As you can see, the current side is very weak, and this side is very strong. This is a bad strategy because the opposing team can raid from this side and easily wipe them out. And we're back once again. Now in this version of the game, the black team gets to go first. Two. I have a oh, ten. Scout. They're saying this because they have to know who attacks them and who's defending. And this can be useful because they then know where all the characters are. Two, uh, scout. I also have a scout. When two players of equal value hit each other, it's a sacrifice and both of them are sent to the afterlife. <laughs> scout. I also have a scout.
spy. Ten. This is where hiding the spy behind the lake comes into use, because many players will charge with their best character, and you just take it right out with the spy. Scout. Scout. Five. Now the white team is choosing a very poor strategy of charging in with their spy. This is bad because at any point a scout could come and just beat the spy. That's simple. Scout. Spy. Who called it? <laughs> Definitely not you. <laughs> Six. <laughs> Scout. <laughs> Pound. Let's take a quick break and come back when it gets more interesting. And we're back. Very wise, now that he's found out where the bombs might be, he's sending in someone to disable them, and also someone to protect him. Seven. Six. This is another unwise choice, because there was no really strong character to protect the flag besides the one that's trapped by the bombs. Three. And it's minor. Stronghold. Bomb. So. Three. Epic. Minor. Three. Ooh, but taken down. Dun, dun, dun. Will he go for it? Or does he not believe the flag is there? Only time will tell. Seven. Seven. Scout. And the winner! Flag. Alex Morse. And... <laughs> oh, God damn it. Cut.